gentlemen, as promised, here is my current inventory. It's got four pages worth of skins here. Ooh, it's a bit laggy on there. So yeah, we've pretty much got ourselves quite a form of collection, quite a lot of stat tracks in here, and of course a few cases, but I don't open these, so I pretty much just get rid of them. Right, so I didn't get all of these off hell case, but I got a hell of a lot of them off here. So if I go to acquired, I can show you what I have got off. So for starters, this entire page here, I will from hell case. So as you can see, I've actually managed to get some pretty decent stuff. Quite a few of these were uh, USB stat tracks. Of course, we've got all of these also. So there's two pages so far from Hellcase. Some of them I've sort of like traded. So I traded a factory new Worm God. So I had more than one of these. I had about five in one board. And I got myself this SSG08 slashed as well. I think that's one hell of a dope skin. I love the look of it. Right, page three. Now this is where we start to get to where I haven't got off Hellcase. So pretty much look into about the nitro here so anything after this nitro is what I got off hell case and skin wise apart from the souvenir I brought that I needed a shotgun skin just to change things same with these two but the rest are all off hell case because the standard ones I had before then were just some small ones I brought off the marketplace well worn bronze deco. Boy, have I traded up from this one. 1050 kills. So, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of uh, my current inventory. Quite a lot of uh, purples. <laughs> Quality, one red, and quite a few nice wee purples. Alright, so we'll get started on this Hellcase video, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey guys, Brit Daily here, and we're back today on Hellcase with another $14. So, just gonna stick to the same old shit that we know. We're gonna jump through our mill spec and try and make some profit. So, one thing I wanna to talk to you guys about in this episode here as well most of the videos we generally see online of YouTubers doing this such stuff and such, they're like, they're sponsored. And if they're not sponsored, they've got hundreds of dollars to spend on these cases. So my plan here is to sort of do it with small amounts of money, show you how to play these on a budget, in a sense. So yeah. Oh, we didn't even get profit on that. What a horrible spin. So yeah, basically, this is like the cheap man's version of doing these cases. You still get to have the same amount of fun and such. Yeah, you're not getting these big, expensive $50 skins, but... With these new trade ups and such, you actually get a chance to sort of trade up all these skins. So, for my calculation, I should be the equivalent of about 50 skins in total for today. So, 50 skins there, all those traded up quite nicely. I could get something decent out of it, you never actually know. And the reason I work in freeze is because I did it in fives, tens, and all that. And you seem to just get more when you give more. So, say you can do 10 trade up skins, you trade up 10 skins, you get one done return. That could be worth that $2. As if you do it the way I've been doing it, where you do free skins per three, so that's already free trade ups from 10 skins, plus an extra trade up for whatever you pull out. So we're just going to keep doing this till we hit two dollars and then we're going to spin two bank cases on five and then we're going to start doing some nice wee trade ups on these guys it seems i'm unlucky tonight with absolutely no profit but we can see what we managed to pull out so i realized today that counter-strike had an update with a new case so i'll be looking forward to seeing some of those skins floating around the area I don't know how that would work with all these kinds of sites, but some of them look pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on a couple of them. 
Alrighty, what number is this? 25, I believe. Not a single stage track out of any of this yet. That is insane. Okay, we've all seen my videos so far, and we usually see that I get some, like, I at least get one stat track throughout the lot. So far, not a single one. Nada. There is no luck tonight for me. So, hopefully, off would you look at that? Just speaking about that, we get a goddamn stat track. Yorick. I haven't got one of those yet. Interesting. So, yeah, just as I say, I don't have a stat track, I go and get one, go figure. So, I don't have a knife, just give me one. <laughs> like that'd ever work. Alright, bank as I said. Go for two sets of five, just to get the extra skins on there. Because they'll be for trade-ups. I actually got lucky on these the other day, getting a lot of Franklins. Speaking of devil, I just got another Franklin. But of course, a lot of death rattles. I wouldn't mind a couple of Emerald Pinstripes, now that would be handy. That I'd be happy with. I guess that was a win. Alrighty, two contract, ladies and gentlemen. So what do we got here? So eleven purse at twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. We got fifty skins in the bunch. So. Let's just start grabbing freeze and frying them all on in. Got KJ and Race Factory new. Thank you very much for that. Don't know whatever I'm going to do with a Glock KJ and Race. That's worth 46 cents. Uh, not bad, Petroglyph. I think this time we might trade up to anything coloured that's other than blue and keep those skins. Give Dazzle minimal wear. Whoop whoop. Get excited ladies and gentlemen. I got ourselves a goddamn the give. The cheapest of cheap. Oh, the M249 has a new skin in the new case and it looks awesome. Very excited, I actually might want to go and buy myself one of them cases just to try and get a chance at it. Ah, let's throw the stat track on in there. Five seven retribution. Not bad, not bad. See, I actually want to get that in two four nine skin I saw earlier. It looks pretty damn decent. Desert Eagle Naga. Well, warm. Whoop whoop. Battle scarred urban rubble, urban rubble. A lot of Desert Eagle skins, that's for certain. Malachite. Might actually have to keep these Malachites and petroglyphs. That'd be quite handy for um trading up on Steam. Oh my god, SG553 Pulse Battle Scarred. I think I withdrew two of those last night. I field tested in a Battle Scarred. Temporary unavailable, come on, don't give me that. Because that's a good thing. Wing Shot. I don't think I've got a Wing Shot in my inventory, so I might have to withdraw one. Because I do look the, like the look of it. I would prefer a Star Trek one, but I've not come by one yet. Desert Eagle Naga Battle Scarred. So many of these skins here there. I just went and brought when I first started playing Global Offensive. Well, you know, they're cool now that I actually have a little bit more knowledge into the skin database and trades worth and such. Kind of boosted up my inventory quite well so far. Black Tide, Battle Scarred. See, so yeah, I pretty much just spend some money, play on here and have a wee bit of fun. 
And generally with draw some pretty decent skins. If you've seen throughout the video some stuff that I do manage to pick up. Quite a lot of those things I've already with drew and such, so I don't actually need to go back through and with draw like double ups and such just you know, I try to trade up to get something even better. Another night. I will mind some covert weapons. It'd make me happy. But I highly doubt any covert's worth under a dollar. Well, under ten dollars. And again, you never really know. This is skin 18, I believe. So that's enough trade us a six more. I look, our first stat track in there, so we might have to keep that. <laughs> it's the most expensive one out of the lot so far. Alrighty, let's start down the bottom here. Up to four dollars. So the average is usually about a dollar. Dollar fifty stat track Mac ten heat. Might have to keep that too. I'm impressed with that one. Could use a Mac ten stat track. Now we got Glock eighteen weasel. I don't like that pistol at all. M4 A1 Basilisk Field Tester would might have to take that away with us too. I have a battle scarred one sitting in the inventory, but field tester could come in handy. Org Bengal Tiger. Alrighty. Never heard of him. But hey, he looks kind of cool. Sign contract. A knight, two knights and a black tie for a USP Guardian Factory new. If it was Star Trek, I'd be impressed. Thank you, Lyle. And then we'll throw the Guardian on in there too. You know what, we'll just throw all of those in and see what we get out of profit. And we'll end the video. So I'm definitely withdrawing these two guns. P90 Asimov field tested. That looks more battle scarred than anything, but we got a covert weapon out of that, so I suppose we've got three skins here we can now withdraw. And I shall withdraw them this time around, I won't be silly and gamble them all away. We'd always, uh, you know, throw them all in there, but they're not really worth much in the sense of trading up, so take them away for the personal inventory. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Affiliate code will be displayed in the description for you guys to use if you wish to come on here and spend some money Or just get your free 30 cent spin The more affiliates I build up and whatever's earned on my thing, my level goes up, you can get more through the affiliate code I don't know how the system actually works very well. Who the hell got all those on the go? Jesus Yeah, basically you like this video hit that thumbs up you wish to see more such as Hellcase, uh, we're now doing the time lapse videos on Valve Hammer again. Possible. Is that one? No, that's not one. So, a possible um, tutorial video is coming up with Valve Hammer here, and I am in the works to plan a Counter Strike Global Offensive Diffusal map, which I can hope to start recording as soon as I've got all the final blueprints in place to begin the mapping process. So, once again, guys, thank you very much. Brick Daily, out.